my name is Austin with Wright Physical Therapy. I have Camille here helping me out today. We're going to go through the clinical prediction rule for identifying patients that might be dealing with hip OA or osteoarthritis. Um, the first thing we want to know is their age. Um, anybody that's over the age of 50, it's more likely that they're dealing with arthritis. Obviously, Camille is not over 50. She's way younger than that. But, um, so that's the first thing we want to know. The other thing we want to ask about is about morning stiffness or pain in the morning. Um, usually patients that have arthritis are likely to have stiffness for the first hour of the day that eases up as they get going with their day. In the clinic, screens that we're going to look at is we're just going to look at range of motion. So we want to look at both sides for demonstration purposes. I'm only going to look here at this left. So we want to look at hip flexion and we're looking for either pain or limitations in range of motion compared to the other side. Camille's young, she has great range of motion. Then we're gonna look at internal rotation. As we internally rotate, once again, we're looking for pain or limitations compared to the other side. A limitation of 15 degrees or more is significant. Lastly, we're gonna do a special test. It's called the Faber test. It just stands for flexion, abduction, external rotation. So we're gonna put them in this crisscross position here. I like to ask if they have any pain before I proceed. Do you have any pain here, Camille? No. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand on their opposite hip on the ASIS, and then I'm just gonna gradually build up force as I push down. Once again, I'm looking for pain. Do you have any pain or symptoms here? No. Um, a positive test is symptom reproduction. As they have more and more positive test or things that we screen for, it is more likely that they are suffering from OA of the hip. 